Pastor Marilyn, thank God. So, just want to give a big warm welcome to uh, to my boy, uh, Carl Hale, man. Say what's up to everybody, dude. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hey, man. Dude, uh, thanks for agreeing to do this, man. Uh, the homie uh, reached out and um, she said that you'd be a great you know, guest to come on and have a conversation with, man. So, so here we are, man. So uh, tell the folks a little about yourself. First of all, I appreciate you having me. Uh, the power of relationships are amazing. Yeah, man. Um, <laughs> my name is Carl Hill Jr. I own a company by Ginger by the name of Ginger Hills. Ginger Hills Lemonade. So my one of my ultimate goals is when you think of ginger lemonade, I want you to think ginger hills. So I want that to be like the household name. Like when you think band aid, when you think of bandages, you think band aid. Mm -hmm. So like it's just I want it to be a D name you think about when you think of ginger lemonade. So I offer five flavors of our ginger lemonade, strawberry kiwi, pineapple, mixed berry, original, and matcha blueberry. It's all ginger lemonade. I just juice different fruits to get the different flavors. Um, plenty of uh, benefits to ginger, natural painkiller, immune system booster, anti-inflammatory. Um, it helps ease menstrual pain for the ladies out there for that time of the month. And you can place orders at gingerhales.com. Follow me on all social media at Ginger Hales on Facebook and Ginger Hales Lemonade um, on TikTok and Instagram. Hey, yeah, man. Nah, you, you're lying about getting that exposure, man. You got to put all that information out there, man. You got to be on every <laughs> every social media outlet, man. Yeah, because the why, yeah, man. man. <laughs> um, so right now, you on your way out of active duty, man. Um, it's exciting. And I know a little bit terrifying for folks, man. Um, you know you established this business while you know in the navy i mean mm -hmm. talk about that a little bit um yeah, i remember uh i'm on shore duty now like you said i'm in the navy got shore duty sea duty so i started it three years ago when i was on sea duty i mean i was on a boat so um a couple of homies they was like yeah we're going down to atlanta they from atlanta so i was like i ain't never been i'm gonna ride down with y'all I went down to Atlanta, I went to like some sort of holistic shop while I was out there and I stumbled across ginger lemonade and I was already a big fan of ginger. I would put it in like smoothies, I would eat all the time like ginger snaps. Um so I've just been a always been a really big fan of ginger. So okay, let me try this. Um that joint was good. Like you know how you go somewhere, you get back and you get back from out of town and you always want like that food or beverage uh -huh. or whatever. Yep. <laughs> So that's how it was with the ginger lemonade, man. I looked up their company's uh, website. I was like, yeah, I know they got to ship this lemonade. Turns out they didn't. I was like, all right, cool. I'm already somewhat familiar with ginger. I can figure out how to make it on my own. So I looked up some Google recipes, um, and I just went from there. So I started out um, just making it just because I liked it. Started giving it out to, uh, to friends and family, um, especially people on the boat. And then um, a girl I was dating, she was like, yo, you should start selling that. And I was like, really? And right from that conversation, I was like, okay, I went on Amazon to order some bottles. And I put a post on Facebook and said, hey, this is what I got going on. I'm selling ginger lemonade. And the support from friends and family was like through the roof, off the charts, off the rip. Man, that's beautiful, man. Because sometimes it doesn't happen, man. Sometimes... Folks don't yeah. see the vision, and then it's always a all right. Well, I guess it's gonna be a little solo panure struggle bus for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. Like especially like, I, remember I would be just walking around on the boat, like with a big old bag of lemonade all day. Like I wasn't really doing my job. I was just walking around with a bag of lemonade. <laughs> never bag of lemonade until it was until it was all so so. I was people started looking at me, hey, you seen hell, you seen hell. People was texting me, yo, can I get a couple bottles for the support even on a boat? Like crazy. That's a lot, man. Especially because like when you underway, if you on a boat, like 
if you got something like mm-hmm. that you that folks want, they will find you. Like, that's how you know it's good. Exactly. It's like I need a little mm-hmm. escape. It don't matter if it's you know the ship store <laughs> opening up. <laughs> it's like yo, you got any more? <laughs> like tell me you got some Krispy Kreme back there. What you got? What you got? You got one of those ice cream bars? Like what's up, man? <laughs> you already know how it is. Yeah, man. You was out here saving souls in that boat. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, so. You had this idea, you're executing it. Um, I mean, did you think that it was going to get to the point where it is now, where you like, you know, to the point where you're about to exit the Navy? Because I know we were talking earlier, you know, you got um, you got family that's also served. So it's like, it's not like being, you know, in the service or something uh, foreign. Like, you know, you could do your 20 and, and bounce or whatever i mean did you have another plan before you you know figured this out uh honestly no i had i had what i was gonna do before i knew i had some time that's why i took advantage of shore duty Mm -hmm. this okay i I got three years to figure out how i'm gonna fire the navy in a sense okay i don't know Mm -hmm. i don't want to work for anybody else no more um so i'm gonna use this Three years on show duty to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, and I, I feel that too, man. Like you know, when I was stationed in LA before here, and I was trying to get the podcast going, like I was linking up with a bunch of people, and I was a good setting. And then I'm like, I want to be done. I don't do this anymore. But mm-hmm. thankfully, I had my my uh, LPO at the time, she was like, "Slow down, <laughs> get a better plan, <laughs> make sure it's solid." I'm like, oh, "Okay." Yeah. Right. And it's crazy how many people don't have that guidance in the military, too, because mm-hmm. a lot of people just get out, like, because where I work, I was at the front desk, I'm checking people, I'm at the medical clinic, and I do, like, the, I hand, like, the audiogram paperwork when they mm-hmm. come in and check in, I, if I see they're doing a separation audiogram, I was like, hey, it was like, I'm doing separation, I'm like, congratulations, what you got planned on when you get out, like, God talk to you today, he was like, I'm gonna just go home and figure it out from there. <laughs> That's the luck for you. Nah, man. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> That's dangerous, man. Folks don't understand, man. And I, the, the the military sets you up so well and that you don't realize that, you know, 30 days of leave a year is not, like, normal. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, having access to medical um, you know, treatments, just being able to like pick up the phone, be like, yo, I need to get a dental appointment and like right. you just go, it's done, you go back to work and that's it. You ain't gotta go home out your pocket. You're not spending three hundred dollars for an emergency room visit, like none of that. Um so yeah, exactly like the, that same energy, like not realizing that once you get out, like there's a safety net. Now obviously there's a high risk, mm-hmm. high gain to stay in the military. Like it's not like yeah. I'm gonna take care of everything. You will be underway for nine months out of the year. <laughs> it's a cost. <laughs> it's a cost. <laughs> yeah, they definitely gonna get there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hey man, so God call me. My bad. Man. <laughs> so so where do you want to take this? I mean, you got a good product, you got to give vision. Um, where do you want to go? Like, what's the what's the long term? Um, yeah, like I said, Ginger Hills will be the household name. Um, long term, I want to be in all the major grocery stores, the Whole Foods, Harris Teeter, Publix, and I, was, I want to be international as well. So mm-hmm. I, I want to get into like. Um, overseas like let's say like over a certain parts of asia you know you got the exclusive candies and flavors over mm-hmm. there like you mentioned the green tea kit kats before over there yeah yeah in yeah Japan. so i i don't know what exotic fruits or foreign fruits they have over there in asia but i'm sure i can come up with a ginger lemonade flavor for that oh yeah so that's that's definitely a goal to have like even even like it'll be I've had a Japanese veteran, of course. Like, I just really see that international mm-hmm. flavoring being a thing. Yeah, I wanted to be sold everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I mean that that's the thing. Like the um, just the packaging itself. Like I remember coming up and just getting old enough to go to the clubs in DC and being like, 
when Voss water was the was the elite water to buy because it had oh yeah the glass bottle yeah right I was like I don't drink a glass bottle hold up guys what's this you know just think you drinking like you know you a rapper or something drinking staying hydrated <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah the packaging and all that stuff man like and that goes on to another part of it like yeah you have a good product but like the distribution like trying to get that whole like process going like how are you going to get your process you know either be the process completed or how are you going to get the distribution like actually kicked out so you can get it in the store like how did how did that work out for you um so first i got in my first store i've been in business since 2018 i got in my first store uh 2020 yeah i got in my first store in 2020 um and that was just through relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, I would do a lot of vendor events, and one of them was like a um, coffee and tea expo. Shout out to Culture Culture Vegan if you're in Virginia Beach, check out uh, Culture Vegan. Um, so I did her event, and she saw the, like same same. It was her and Desmond's Island Soul Grill. That's the uh, both vegan spots. Mm, both, okay. Best vegan spots in the Hampton Roads. Um, they both saw how like their customers reacted to my product. It was like, okay, yeah, we definitely gotta get this in our restaurant. Mm. And from there, it's that was my lemonade is still sold in those two stores, the first two stores. Um, just just building off those relationships. And I'm I'm in six stores now. Oh, and wow. it's, it's a lot of them are the same way. Um what let me think. What other stores? Yeah, Conscious Planet. I bought. I was Conscious Planet. Um, Major Phillies. That's a Philly cheesesteak spot that I got into in Norfolk. Okay. I actually got in there because my ba- my barber. Um, he was like, "Yeah, um, this guy I cut hair. Um, he got a Philly cheesesteak spot around the corner on Granby. Um, you should try to get in there." So he sent me his Instagram. So I hit him up, and he was like, "Yeah, you can just follow my business partner. His business partner is actually the chef that cooks in there." So I went and met him, Alan. Um, and he was like, "Yeah, um, I, dro- I dropped up some samples," and he said he wanted to carry it, but the only he was like, okay, I'll carry. It. And he told me his vision for Major Phillies. Mm-hmm. He said he wants to go nationwide as well. So he was like, "Okay, I want to get Ginger Hills in every every location I open. I want Ginger Hills in it too, but you can't put it in any other Philly cheesesteak spots." And I was like, "Why? Well, you just told me your vision. You can take my brand with you. So that's right. cool. That's 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 not a problem." And he's like, and I spoke with him last week. So it's, I end up getting a um, like a ginger hales refrigerator wrap, like it's it's dope. Like so that's in oh, there. Um, that's that's been going really well. That's and he's up. talking about uh, he's opening six more locations in the next um, eighteen months. Wow, he's gonna be all, all over the place, man. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah man. Dang, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to getting over there, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to try this product, man. I see all the. All, all, all the the posts and like just seeing all people's yeah. comments. I'm like, oh, this man! <laughs> I gotta got to get you some. When you coming back to? Um, when you be back in Maryland? I'll be back this summer, straight up. I'll be in, back in June, but I'm gonna try and get back okay. a little early, like maybe like around maybe March, just to like set some stuff up. So definitely. okay, we're definitely yeah okay March will be I'm I'm making my transition back to VA. Uh, April, so yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm sure everything okay. will align though. Either way, man, wasn't on that side, man. This ain't nothing but a drive, man. I, I'm ready to get up out of Alaska. Let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah, but I, I do ship nationwide, though. I ship nationwide. Okay. I've had orders. I've shipped. I shipped to Hawaii. I've shipped. Okay. North Carolina. I've shipped to. I've shipped all over the country. Okay. Okay. Shoot. So you starting this company, and of course, everybody's feeling it because 2020 happened. And now, how did that <laughs> <laughs> how did that affect you, man? I mean, actually, it actually helped a whole lot because I just doubled down on telling people what mm-hmm. the benefits of ginger were. Like, I feel like ginger hails does everything that black people think ginger ale does. Because mm-hmm. you know, a lot of ginger <laughs> ales is not real ginger. But my, you actually get the real benefit. You can drink it after mm-hmm. a hangover. You can drink it when your stomach hurts. Right, headache. Right, my product will actually help them. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 helped out a lot. Just double down on 
just that information, like people know the benefits of it, like the natural painkiller, immune system booster. That's mm-hmm. super, that was super key. The immune system booster. He was like, I gotta give me some ginger. I gotta give me some ginger. Yeah. Yeah, man. Dang, that's just, that's this is fire, man. This is just like just just seeing like this, like you know, it it might you know when people think about it, like oh, this happened quick, but like these visions ain't promised. You know what I'm saying? But you got to do a lot of work to make them happen. And yeah, it's it's been a it's been a, it's been a journey for sure. Um, and I got this is not even the beginning. Like it's, it's I got so much further to go. So much further to go. Yeah, man. You're talking like year four, man. Like so many businesses that just don't even make it past like the first two years, mm-hmm. they shut shut down, man. And 2020 was like, you know, a real like crucible for a lot of organizations to see like, all right, can you withstand this storm? Like, can you figure out mm-hmm. how to like manipulate your business, get, get access to clientele and keep them and gain more clientele to actually like make it mm-hmm. through because if you could figure it out through the last couple of years man like <laughs> nothing knock you man seriously seriously um so besides this like what are your other adventures like you trying to you know dig into man um so so once i get out i do definitely believe in multiple streams of income mm-hmm that's um, right. So we, we, um, previously, we talked about uh, the Skill Bridge program. You said yeah. you had just heard about it. Yeah. So man. I finally got an approval letter for, for a Skill Bridge program oh, through a, a real estate uh, okay. real estate right, company. Right. So I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna start that in May. Got the real estate. So I'm gonna basically just gonna be. It's like an internship. So I'm gonna be shadowing mm-hmm. a realtor. So I always wanted to get into real estate investing so I can just use that knowledge mm-hmm. that I get from the real estate and they're going to give me the opportunity to study and take the test to get my realtor license. I'm not sure if you want to go that route, mm-hmm. but it's still a dope option. Yeah. I know it can help with investing. Um, so that's one. Um, two, I'm also getting into car rentals. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's I've right. I've been spending the last year and a half, two years intentionally building my personal credit and my business credit mm-hmm. so i got approved for two auto loans in my business credit no personal guarantee i've gotten it through my business credit so that's what i'm i'm putting my ne- my first two cars on Turo starting off um in the next couple of weeks they should be on the platform hey. and eventually i want to do like i want to have my own service when you come straight to me i don't have to use a platform like Turo or hire your car Right. You can just come straight to a website that I create and right. get car rentals that way. Yeah, I think that's the way, man. Like just, uh, just multiple, like, like you said, marginal stream of income, obviously. But then having it where it's not like it's scalable to the point where it's worth investment, but you don't get lost trying to move to many pieces at once. Um, mm-hmm. You have like a team behind you, man, or is it just? I mean, it's just you right now. Uh yeah, I do low key, low key. Everybody, um, like I do, I like have amazing support system. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom, first of all, she's helped me out like from day one. Like she always supporting anything I do. Yeah. Um, so I had a situation when um I was so I was I was in the two stores. Like I said, the Culture Vegan and Desmond's. I was in the two stores. They going well. They getting. They, they they need a refill every every week, so I was like, all right, cool, this is dope. But then I get the uh, we get word at work, this is like first when COVID first happened, we get a call at work, and say, hey, hey, y'all going out with the comfort? That's the medical ship. Mm-hmm. Um, y'all going up to New York because apparently New York had it the worst. Oh yeah. So it was like, um, we don't know how long y'all gonna be out there, but just prepare for six months. Yeah. So I was like, Man, okay, and at the time. I was the only person making my lemonade at the time. I was like, okay, who do I trust to to help make this lemonade, do the deliveries to the stores? First person I thought of was my mom. So the weekend before I left, I um took cause I was still at the time I was making it out of the kitchen. Mm-hmm. So I took took my juicer down there, took everything I needed, showed her how to make it. Okay, this is where you do the deliveries to, this is such a number, this is how you do it. And she did her thing. Luckily I was only out there for thirty days, mm-hmm. but that helped me once I got back, because right. I was like, Desmond's and Culture was in Virginia, and I'm stationed in Maryland. Yeah. 
So I would have to make it up here, take it down. I was crunching everything into the weekend. So now, like, the way we did it at that time, like, my mom, she would make uh, she would make all the lemonade for, for the stores, and I would do make the lemonade for the events. I'd do, like, vendor events um, almost, yeah, almost pretty much every weekend, sometimes mm-hmm. two in one weekend. But I would make our lemonade for the, for the events, and she would do it for the stores. Oh, and I can't forget about my boy, Chris. Chris from Family Springs Water. That's my guy. He helps a whole lot. Like, that's been... I met Chris probably about three years ago um, at an event. It was at a Juneteenth event oh, okay. in uh, Chesapeake. Okay, okay. So I saw him doing this thing with his water. I was like, all right, cool. And I've always used alkaline water in my lemonade. Um, but once I built the relationship with him, I ended up using his water, his family springs, alkaline water exclusive. Like, and just that loyalty, like he's helped me out a whole lot. Like since then, like now being, being in Maryland, he does, we're in a lot of the same stores, my lemonade and his, his water is in a lot of the same stores. So that's kind of mm-hmm. how we play it. Now, if I'm in a store, I'm gonna do my best to get you in that store and vice versa. Right. So he does a lot of the deliveries for me when I'm not out there. He, so. Yeah, man, I I can't can't express how important that is, man. I've been trying to like develop a team for a minute, man. And it just feels like just having the homie Amalia like reach out. And she just volunteers, like, hey man, I reach out to some folks. Ain't no thing. I'm like, all right, man. She just mm-hmm. bump, 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 bump. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's well connected. She, oh, I'm like, bro, this whole time you've been sitting on all these. With, <laughs> oh, she was supposed to connect. She connected me with somebody else. I was like, yo, like, she's well connected. I think it was a restaurant out here she connected me with. Mm. But yeah, she's well connected in the area for sure. Yeah, man. She's just mad humble about it, too. Like, she's just down to help. Down to just, you know, make, you know, dots and points connect. That's it. And I'm like, all right, man. You got I love people it. like that, though. Seriously, because you, you need them. Love. And they get the biggest blessings because you get the same energy you put out. So she got many blessings coming to her. Oh, for dog on sure, man. I don't show. Um, So with all of this, man, like, what part did your like education either be like OJT like in the Navy or you know any other like courses or classes or college play into you like getting um, more proficient in, you know, as a as a business owner? Um, I haven't taken well, not haven't taken many classes so far. I'm in one um, through Hampton University, but that okay. one is kind of go at your own pace kind of thing. Mm. I just have to make this time. Because every time I schedule a class, um, I just always got something going up, though. Oh, yeah, so work will pop up. Okay, I got to <laughs> stick to the schedule. Um, the Navy does, well, the military does offer um, a boots to business class. Mm-hmm. So that's that's like, I think, it's a two or three day course. So I'm going to definitely take that when I get back down to Virginia, the boots to They teach you everything from the business plan to everything so yeah. i didn't even write a business plan so that that might be something i might need to do for a future business mm-hmm. um just to help map everything out but outside of that i haven't taken many uh business courses not that i can think of i'm just learning as i go yeah man i mean that's i mean that that's kind of dope because it just kind of teaches to speaks to the like uh the tenacity you have as a business owner you know the focus that it takes you know to have an idea and okay. able to like put it through. Um, but you yeah, know, I, I lied. I, I do. I do. Um, another podcast. Do you listen to many other podcasts? Mm-hmm. Uh, you listen to uh, Earn Your Leisure? I know I've heard of it. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't watched it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a, you can call it a business podcast. They're having all these different mad guests on, but they got a, a something they call uh, Earn Your Leisure University. So that's, I've definitely, they got like, online classes and like videos and stuff just people that's why i learned, I learned a lot about the business credit side too mm, okay so that helped out a whole lot too that's so i just do like stuff like that youtube university um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> youtube university is real that is how i learned how to you can't see like all the cameras and hd monitors yeah, so you got the, the light set up that's dope uh, yeah that's youtube university <laughs> uh, three-point lighting uh focal distance from the lens all that stuff mm-hmm. man like and then i had to like 
kind of double down and be like, all right, let me try and go back to the traditional like schooling. But I was like, I only want to take courses in like cinematography, like anything that's going to mm-hmm. help me with like sound and, and, and audio and visual. Um, so I started going to full sale and my homie was going out to full sale and he got his, uh, uh, sports um, uh, journalism and, and 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 that whole degree program. He's getting his master's right now, man. But like, I used to laugh at him all the time when I was going through the course. And when I first before I started the course, and I was starting the podcast, he was like trying to record mm-hmm. all these videos. I'm like, you don't get that janky ten dollar Chinese <laughs> mic out of here. <laughs> I was like, oh, it sounds good, but then as soon as he like you know took the SD card out. And, Throw it in the computer. He was like, "What's this buzzing and hissing in the background?" I was like, "Yeah, I tried mm. to tell you, but yeah, man, I, I can't speak to like, you know, either be YouTube University or if it be a traditional brick and mortar school, or whatever. You know, um, yeah, folks need to get out there and, and get on that grind or get an internship. You know, shadow somebody or a lot. Of, a lot of people offer courses too. Mm-hmm. Um, they say those who pay pay attention." So those Sir. courses are definitely date. A lot of them are worth due to do, you do diligence on the person having the course, but for sure, like courses is a good hack too because all the the game is is uh, sold, not told. So a lot of you got to pay for it. No, 100%. YouTube University only gets you, but so far, sometimes you actually gotta, and then it save you some time too. Yeah. Versus watching six different videos, trying to and you gotta actually search for those videos. The course you already got it, everything in one and in order. Yeah, 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 one percent. Yeah, if you if, if it can get you there, then definitely take that path, man. Because yeah, mm-hmm. they're not giving out million dollar checks <laughs> just yeah, on facts. the street, man. Cash, you gotta earn it. You gotta earn <laughs> it. Um, man, yeah, man. Uh, we'll keep it quick, man. I, I appreciate you like taking some time and then talking to me about just your vision and the company and just you know your life experiences, brother. Um. When I get back on that side, man, we definitely got to link up. Um, I definitely want to oh, yeah, like, put sure. like a network together and just have some folks that I got lined up just to have like a meet and greet or something, you know, somewhere mm-hmm. physical. I can take everybody out. We can have a good little time or whatever. Um, but yeah, so. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, man. So uh, tell the folks where they can find your stuff again and all that good stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you, um, if you go to gingerhales.com, you can get it. Locally delivered, um, nationwide shipping. And if you're in the Hampton Roads area, it has all the list of stores that I'm in. I will be in stores in DMV soon, so be on the lookout for that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Ginger Hales Lemonade. Facebook, Ginger Hales Apostrophe S. All right, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for everything. No problem. Appreciate you. All right. Till next time, y'all. Night show.